Hi everyone, it's me, Serena, with a new Bratz video. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the big day for the big video. Huh? The big video. Like, like the video. Girl, what the fuck are you like talking about? I'm talking about like for the brats babes on this channel that subscribe, like the video that they've been waiting for. I feel maybe. No one like knows what the fuck you're talking about, babe. Why are you being mean to me? You're like literally me. So what does that say about yourself? Maybe that means that inside you're being mean to yourself. Think about it. Damn. <laughs> but I am sorry for being rude. You're like so cute. I really like your new hat. Aw, thanks. I know I just got it. Isn't it so fucking cute? Loves it. Like period, right? You're like so fucking hot and cool. Yeah. Yes, today we are gonna do the entire Bratz collection as of what's today? January, January 4th. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go through all of my dolls in my entire collection and we're gonna talk about them and so yeah let's just get right into it brad's babes <laughs> start with miss first edition chloe oh, she's so beautiful this doll is really special because like i don't know she, i feel like she's just such a staple in like any brats collection she she truly never like gets old or anything this eye looks fucking huge for some reason but in person it like doesn't look like that but like whatever <laughs> i normally have her in her cow print skirt of course which is this the most iconic Bratz, the most iconic, the most iconic Bratz piece ever. The cop skirt, obviously. Next we have first edition Jade, bitch. She's so cute, like literally this hat with these little tassels and her like perfect little pigtails. And I just love like these lips are so pretty. And I love like the green, with the red and the pink like it's just it's a very interesting color combination this is like probably my favorite brat shoe mold like that's ever existed she reminds me of Haylin from witch a lot like with this little like little funky outfit so for first edition yasmin i used to have her because i got that set that was like sold at target i think it was like a target exclusive and it came with all four of them and it's like the re-release versions of them i think i got that four pack in 2016 for like i think it was like a hundred and like ten dollars like total um but this is my current interpretation of a first edition yasmin and like this is probably my favorite brats outfit ever like I, oh my god like the little like babushka and this this color is my favorite color periwinkle i love periwinkle so much um i gave this little bag um the periwinkle oh my god and it like matches this is um birthday bash yasmin and i thought that she would be really cute in the first edition outfit these shoes this is like the cutest shoe mold ever like the brown and the pinks and the purples and the periwinkle like it's so cute and i gave her this piercing which honestly i feel like i need that piercing right I'd say yasmin is definitely my favorite of the first edition dolls 
But something about Chloe just like really like does it for me. So now we have my first edition Sasha, who I made out of, um, I know her lips look a little chunky. If you watched my last video where I customized her, you'll know like I didn't really paint her lips the best. Um, but I painted her eyes a little bit green and I thought it would be so cute. Um, the idea of first edition Sasha, if they were to give her like this interesting like gingery hair color. This fucking skirt is so cute. It literally detaches to be a mini skirt. Her bag is really cute too. Um, I just love the color scheme. I feel like um, this is sort of like my rendition of like a first edition Dana. Cause I feel like this outfit reads very Dana to me. This is flaunted Chloe's outfit. This is Salon and Spa Dana, who you can see me like fix up in style in one of my Bratz like makeover videos. I think it's episode one. And she's just such an interesting doll. I feel like she's very underrated, but I don't know what it is about her face, but I feel like no other Bratz doll looks like that. Yeah, I don't know. She just fucking sexy. This little, this little flower and this little bag and this little shoes and this little that. <laughs> I'm still holding this skirt. I feel like if there were, to, if Dana would have been included in the original four, like if there was a fifth one, I feel like she would look something like this. And then speaking of flaunt it, Chloe, this is like one of my favorite Bratz doll, Bratz dolls ever. Now, um, she's like grown on me so very much, and I feel like, I feel like this outfit is like the perfect interpretation of like who Chloe is. I honestly feel like the flaunt it dolls like. Their outfits are very representative of like their, their individual styles. Like I feel like this is oh, like, oh my God, this baby, this like pastel baby color top. Um, so I added pink in the sliver of her eyes just to differentiate her a little bit from first edition Chloe. I added some glitter to her lips and I also filled in the flowers on these boots to pop and make her eyes like pop. Like, like, I swear, like, do not try to argue with me about this. This is the cutest Bratz bag ever. So cute. I love it. So this is probably one of the most special Bratz in my whole collection. This is Miss Earth Girl Yasmin. Oh my God. The purple eyes and like, you can't really see them that well, but she has freckles and her big ass pink lips and this hair color is so pretty. Um, I like to think that maybe like, if I were to be a brat stall, it would be this one. Cause I love wearing like long skirts. Wearing, sorry, my room's messy, but I'm wearing this like long brown skirt right now. But yeah, she has the cutest fucking skirt and I put her in flaunted Yasmin's outfit which I think is really cute. Imagine if Flaunted Yasmin just had like ginger hair. Maybe I'm just saying that because my hair is ginger and I like it a lot right now, but yeah. I, it's really interesting to me that this one is like very sought after now. I thought she was just kind of like a random doll, but I loved her hair, so I really wanted her. And, I, and oh my God, wait, <gasps> I'm literally wearing purple contacts. Dude, we're the fucking same. She's like my Bratz twin. That's hot, I love it. This is my idea of Phoebe. Oh, wow, she looks so good on camera. But I gave her this little like, you know, like whatever the fuck bouffant hairstyle. Very like beauty queen. Um, she has a tiara, of course. I added glitter to her eyelids and her lips, pierced her nose, gave her this cute ass outfit. She's kind of supposed to be like Bratz Twins Phoebe, but just my version of her. Yeah, she's everything. She's like so, so pretty that it like almost like intimidates me a little bit. This is my rendition of Kumi. So I actually took this doll's eyebrows off, but I wanted to put them back on. So I drew these eyebrows on her. And I think they look pretty good. I just want them to be like really thin. This is Ula La Kumi. Um, added a mole, glittered her lips, pierced her nose, re-added the eyebrows. 
this hat. Oh, it's so cute. Um, if I were to pick any doll, any doll's outfit in my whole collection that represents me the most, it's definitely this one. I repainted these boots to be like, you know, pink and like beige. Ah, this brown skirt with the black hair and like the pink and um, I love this little baby like top with the girl in the bath and the blue matches like the blue stripe and this she has this little like purple bag. She's she's everything. I would say this honestly is probably my favorite doll like in my whole collection. Love it. So these two dolls are my Paris Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie Bratz dolls. This is Paris. This is Nicole. So this is Paris. This is actually um, sports cheerleading Chloe. I did her eyelids with glitter, her lips, pierced her Monroe. I gave her this little tiara. Um, this this hoodie is from one of the Disney store witch dolls. I think it was from Irma. She has this little girly tee, camo skirt, and then these little yellow um, furry boots, which I feel like read very like Paris to me. And then this one's my favorite. Um, class, this is class Chloe, Bratz class Chloe. She's one of my favorite Bratz ever. I've really, I just love her screening. Like, I really like her very like pale colored eyes. And this lip color is nice too. Uh, she has this little like two piece, like athletic. It's kind of supposed to be like Juicy Couture. The cutest fucking scarf ever. The cutest fucking bag ever. The little hat, like. She's probably one of my other favorite dolls of the dolls that I've kind of like imagined myself. But aren't they so cute together? Let's Walmart. Is that like for walls? I don't know, but we have to go. Loves it. That's hot. So next up we have Wintertime Wonderland Yasmin. This is my favorite Wintertime doll. I love her like color scheme so much. I cut this vest forever ago. Don't fucking know why, stupid ass. Um, but I really need a new one. But like, periwinkle again. I love like the periwinkle and the pale like beige color and the very like dusty pinks and the brown hair. Like it's, I think it's like such a nice color combination. So here we have Miss Wintertime Sasha, who you just saw me restyle. I re-glittered her eyes and her lips as well. I love that this Sasha has like black hair instead of like a dark brown with this green and like, oh, it's so cute. I really need her belt. Yeah, she's really cute. I got this doll for my friend Alana for Christmas because this is like one of her favorite Brad dolls ever too. Um, and I, after I received it in the mail, I was like sitting with it for so long. And in my brain, I was just like, God, fuck. I just want to fucking open it so fucking bad. But I did not because it was for her. But I, I found this one out of box for such a good price forever ago. I don't, well, not forever ago. I don't know, whatever. Um, and th so this is Funkin' Glow Wave 2 Dana. She's just like, it's just so interesting. Um, I love her like ponytail. I really like this shade. Um, it's a kind of like a gingery brown, like a, like a cinnamon brown. I gave her this little like fringy gold top. I love the golden accents. I really like these brown shoes. She's just so glittery and cute. She literally comes with like a black cowboy hat and like like a furry like boa. So yeah, I definitely recommend her. I feel like she's a little bit underrated as well. So next up is Miss Funkin' Glow Wave 2 Chloe, who is um, definitely one of the prettiest Chloes that exists. I swear, it's just the purple eyes. The purple eyes really, really do something. I don't know what it is, but I'm so obsessed with like this color palette, like this, like this sort of like indigo, like midnight blue, and like the warm tone peach. It's it's just like so interesting to me. The Funk and Glow line was was really interesting, I think. But she is so beautiful, like her eye color and with the blonde hair definitely one of my favorite Bratz dolls ever i love her so much i really highly recommend her she's just very very one of a kind oh. miss um funk and glow wave to jade oh. 
again, just like Chloe and Dana. So pretty, one of the prettiest jade screenings, like the peach makeup with the purple eyes and there's like some brown in the eyes too. And I like this really dark brown color. I, the one thing that I want so bad in my collection is her fucking like furry neck thing. I was thinking like maybe I could just make one myself but I don't know how to go about that. So cute, one of my favorite brats as well. I've had her for a really long time. Girls night out Sasha. I dressed her in this outfit. I think it's so, so good and it matches her eye makeup really well. Um, and like the, the jacket matches her eyes and then the dress matches her makeup. And I love like the black accents. I gave her this like rose on her neck. She has this little like long ponytail and I kept some of her like twists, you know, put them in the front. She has a little dragonfly clip. She's so cute. Um, girls' Night Out Chloe. Definitely one of my favorite of the of the Girls' Night Out dolls. I love her brown eyes with the blonde hair. I added a glitter to her lips as well. And then I put her in this like really cute, like sparkly, like blue themed outfit. She looks like she's about to go throw it the fuck back, like up in some little club or something or at like a concert. She's like, yeah. So this is my girl's night out, Jade. And yes, she has some staining when, because I customized her before when I was really into gothic fashion. I made her like have like bleeding eyes and stuff. It stained her face, but it is January here in Michigan. It's very cold and the sun barely comes out. So I've been waiting to do that acne thing on her face, but there's no sun. So I like can't really do it right now. But I repainted her eyes like a periwinkle blue with purple and yellow. Kind of inspired by Spring Fling Jade's eyes, if you can picture them. Pink glittery lips. I'm actually not finished with her. Um, I really need to add some dimension to this blue eyeshadow because I think it just looks a little bit like blocky, which I kind of like, but she's just wearing this cute little like pink themed outfit. I really love this belt. I don't know where the fuck it came from but she has a little headband and um, I've never had Girls Night Out Yasmin before and I've always really wanted her. And she is so beautiful, like, oh my God. Her screening is everything. Like, I just wanna be just like her. Um, she's really beautiful. She's kind of giving like a little black dress moment. We have Girls Night Out Dana. I gave her these curls. I, I fixed up her hair too. I love this like big ass ponytail. Um, I gave her these little butterfly clips in her hair. And she's wearing her like little double um, double denim outfit with the pink, oh my God, like this shirt. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Like, so here we have the elusive, um, Wild Wild West Kiana. Who I customized a little bit too. I glittered her lips. Um, here's her earrings. I added these braids in the front. Um, I added glitter to this little cowboy hat. I really like that she's meant to be like a Native American doll. Um, I think it's really important to have representation for indigenous and Native American cultures because I mean, like the Europeans have like tried like literally wiping like their culture off the face of the planet and like out of history and stuff, which is disgusting. So I, I know this is like literally just a fucking Bratz doll, but like, I just like that she represents that. And I'm glad that like little indigenous or native American children, like if they have her or if they had her in the 2000s, like they might've felt seen in a way, you know what I mean? So yeah, she's like really special, I feel. I used to be obsessed with her. Like this was like my most wanted doll ever. Real eyelashes. So here we have Miss Slumber Party Chloe, who I've wanted this doll for fucking ages. And I found someone selling her outfit on Etsy and I found like a really beat up ass nude doll of her. 
and I specifically like this Wave 2 version. I love her like blue and pink eyes and I love this like golden shade. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, she has the cutest little outfit ever. I repainted these just to make them look a bit more like fresh, if that makes sense. But yeah, she's really cute. I'm really happy to have her. And I, I have my two slumber party dolls on the Bratz lip bed and I'll put a clip of it right now. I am obsessed with Slumber Party Megan. I love her color scheme so much. I really like how she's kind of like, she's got like the primary colors going on, but I love how it's like a pale yellow and a pale blue with the deep red. Like it doesn't read as so like primary color, but it like has the three. So it has like that contrast of the three colors, but it's not so like blatantly primary colored. Um, I am obsessed with this little like two piece that she has. Like I put the monkey pajamas kind of like, they're kind of meant to be like low rise as if her like hips are like showing and you so you can see like the underwear underneath it. Um, her eyes are so pretty too. Like they ha they're sort of like a, again, a periwinkle color, which I love. Um, I really like her little crimped hair. My sister got this off for me for Christmas. So she feels very special. And my sister and I actually had her when I was little. So the fact that like my sister was the one that got her for me just like is nice. She makes me think of my sister. So I like especially really love her because I love my sister so much. This is Adventure Girl Sasha, who is like such a pretty Sasha. I love the long like dark brown Kanekalon. I feel like this is such a like natural brown hair color, which I think is very rare to find on dolls like that. But I love her eyes. I like how sultry they are. And there's pink in them too, which is cute. And she has a little lip chip that I need to fix. But um, I have her in this cute ass like Bratz fashion pack. It was like from the, from the first wave. So fucking cute, like the little like athletic. And then these hoops are actually from an LOL doll, but I thought they really suited her. And I gave her the mineral piercing again because she's a fucking slut. She would look so cute with like seen hair with like pigtails. I don't know how I do that though. Sweetheart Dana, who I finally received for Christmas. I'm obsessed with her. She's, oh my God, like, oh my God. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. I love her eyes. She has little yellow flecks in her eyes too. I actually really like her red lips. I don't usually like red lips on anything because I don't know, I just don't really resonate much with red. It's like my least favorite color, but I love it in this like Valentine's Day theme. If you don't have this doll, like you should really get her because she has a lot of really like um, very like interchangeable pieces too, which I think is nice. So next is a really special doll. This is um, Bratz Sports, Play Sports Ballerina, Fianna. Love Fianna, she's such a good character. I Ew, my lips are doing like that thing. Yay. I think I actually might've been 2015. This was like the first doll that I bought because um, I had this doll when I was little. My sister and I both had it. And this doll is like the Bratz doll that I most vividly remember from my childhood. I was born in 2000. So I got her and I was just so obsessed with her. I love this color so much. It's really like specific and pretty. And she literally is a ballerina and she is like such a slut. Like, like look at her face. Like she's such a bimbo. She is like, I feel like she's like the most bitchiest, most bimboed out brat doll ever. Like, oh my God, that lip color is perfect. Like where the fuck did you get that? And she has like that golden blonde hair and it's Kanekalon. So it's like, I really wish you could feel it. It's like the softest hair ever. This is Miss Formal Funk Sasha. So beautiful. This is like one of my favorite dolls as well. Um, I gave her the little curls, but she's so pretty and I have like her gloves and I have her little bag on her. She's perfect. 
Formal Funk is one of my favorite Bratz lines. My boyfriend Emerson got this one for me. So she is of course extra special. And I love her because I obviously like, I just think about him whenever I look at her, which I like thinking about him because he's really pretty and cute. But yeah, here we have Formal Funk Dana, who is also everything. Like I swear the Formal Funk dolls are like, so interesting. I really like this one's color scheme. This is Formal Funk Dana. I restyled her hair. I gave her like these really like kind of like corny like princess like renaissance princess ass ringlets because she kind of reminded me of like the renaissance just a little bit. She reminds me of like if some renaissance princess accidentally got into a time machine somehow and she got transported into like the early 2000s and 2003 and like she met this like group of like teen girls at the mall and they like helped her out and they like they were like oh my god like we need to help her like we need to help her fit into like 2003 society and like maybe she started going to school and like this was her like prom look at the school prom and she had to like learn how to fit in to like 2003 even though she's from like 14 like 95 or something uh, cute right yeah but she's really pretty i love these colors so much she's very glittery she's fucking perfect <laughs> i love her <laughs> she's so cute so last but not least for formal funk um she looks crazy because i just got her today but this is a form of funk Chloe. Oh my God, her screening is so perfect. Like she looks like so fishy, like such a fish. Maybe I'll save it for my next transformation video. We can restyle her together if you want. So if you're sick of all these like early 2000s ass dolls, my brain like didn't like compute that after I said it, like that's literally impossible. But if you want to see some like darker themed dolls, now here's your time to shine. Um, so this is my Pretty and Punk Jade. I gave her a nose piercing and snake bites. And I put her in an, a rendition of Style It Jade's outfit, which I think is cute. Um, her shirt says baby girl. So cute. I love the contrast of like the blue hair with like the yellow. I think it looks really cool. So next up, we have Twins Tess, I think this is. But my friend Alana had this doll nude and she gave it to me. So I just dressed her in this. It's, it's, um, it's mostly Funk Out Jade's outfit. I don't have Funk Out Jade, so I thought it would look really cute on her. I really like um, this doll screening and like her tan skin. Yeah, I gave her these little boots. She's cute. Oh, Express It Chloe, who I... Uh, I fucking love Express It Chloe. She's so like, just kind of like ugly, like in the cutest possible way, if you know what I mean. Like she's not ugly obviously, but like she kind of has just like this, she gives me like Helga from Hey Arnold vibes. Like she just looks very like, you know? I love her bangs. I love the first edition screening on it. Her hair is really nice. I love her little outfit. Like it's very something I would wear with like, Oh, this long scarf. Scarves are so cute. She has this bag that has her little angel logo on it. The, the weirdest, cuntiest ass bitch ever. Express it, Megan. I need to get this little thing off of her face, but I removed her eyebrows actually. And this is the outfit that she's in. Um, I had an extra one of this jacket. Well, actually I had three of them. So I cut the sleeves off and made them into matching leg warmers for her jacket. And I gave her this. This is like one of the cutest little like mini skirts ever. Like I love how it fits. She has these like big chunky ass boots underneath. This little hat. I love all of her like oranges. She's like, I don't know, I feel like she's just very weird. My friend James and I were just talking about how she's kind of like weird. Next we have Midnight Dance Fianna. Um, this is my rendition of her. She's so pretty. She's like one of my favorites. The Midnight Dance line is one of my favorite Bratz lines. I think it's so, so interesting. But this is her little outfit I gave her. I'm obsessed with it. I gave her this cowboy hat, which I think is just like everything. 
but I love this skirt. This skirt is one of my favorite pieces and this shirt is one of the best like brass tops ever too. I love like the red in her blonde hair. She's so pale, she looks like a vampire. So next we have a doll that I made, a custom doll. And this is my custom um, Midnight Dance Sasha, who I like just made the other day. Um, her outfit is like obviously like mall goth inspired, but it's also inspired by Renaissance fashion, which is what I was kind of going for with this top, with like, you know, the big like top underneath with the sleeves and the little like the cross stitch. And, and then I repainted her face too. I gave her like the heterochromia, is it called? I gave her like a pale pink and like a pale yellow color. So cute, I got this matching clip too. Imagine like Midnight Dance, like Felicia or something. That would've been so interesting. Next up, we have Ooh La La Dana, who I've had for a really long time too. I'm obsessed, obsessed with this like pure, like golden hair. Like it's so like, almost like ugly. Like she's like, wee oui, wee, oui, I'm from Barry. And I gave her these little treasures boots. I really like her. I love this like fuchsia color. She's an interesting one too. Here is Live in Concert Yasmin. I love Live in Concert Yasmin. Um, she's so pretty. I love like the brown and pink ponytails. I have her in this little outfit right for right now. I, I need to get her pants because I just want her to kind of like be in her normal outfit. Tokyo Go Go, Chloe and Jade. And I just fixed up Jade in the last video that I did. But this is her. I this is her outfit, she's so cute. I gave her these pink sneakers, just to change it up a little bit. Her hair is so perfect, like, oh, I just love her. And then this is Tokyo Go Go Chloe, who I changed up a little bit too. I gave her this little like sporty top underneath like the fishnet, very like Harajuku, very interesting fashion. I, I love, the skirt over the pants. It's like my favorite thing ever to exist in fashion. I'm just gonna throw this in here just in case, like I feel like some of you might like this doll. I don't know if I like her or not. This is Secret Date Megan. And I gave her like this really cute, like browns and orange and like with a pop of blue theme. And I put her hair up like this, but I repainted her face. So she has like lots of freckles and she has brown eyes and like glittery makeup, which I love, like I love, honestly, now that I'm looking on her, at her, like she looks really good on camera. If you like her, let me know if you like, like this, but yeah, please let me know if you liked it and which doll, which doll was your favorite one. I love Bratz so fucking much. I actually have a strutted Megan that's been lost in the mail that's coming. So you'll probably see her. I'll, I'll, fit, I'll add her to like the next fix up video. But besides her, I'm actually gonna be taking a break from buying Bratz dolls because I'm trying to be content with the dolls that I already have versus feeling like I need to buy a new one all the time, you know, <laughs> as I literally just got one today. But I haven't bought any dolls since then, so. That's cool. Of eternal love to all of you. Uh, anything, any thoughts, leave them in the comments, please. And I will see you next time, okay? Bye, Bratsies.